Hello, welcome to my bathroom. Today's video is going to be a get ready with me. I have my makeup bag in here and I'm gonna be doing this look right here, which is what I call, what do I call this? I guess I would call this look my biggest impact with the least amount of effort. It's kind of like my lazy girl day to day. I want to look like I tried, but I don't actually want to try. It's really what I wear very often and I can do it really fast. And I know you guys will be able to do it really fast too. There's no foundation. This is all skin based. And I have partnered with Fenty Beauty to show you guys their 50 shades of greatness, their new concealer. This is the Instant Retouch Pro Filter Concealer. Let me tell you guys, this concealer is truly, truly the cure for whatever you did last night. Hey, I'm not judging. I'm just saying it's gonna cover up those dark circles. It's gonna cover up any blemishes. So I'm gonna show you guys how I use it, the different shades that I use to color correct and to conceal. So let's get started. Here's my makeup bag. I'm about to get ready. First, let's moisturize. This is the Ula Henriksen Sea Rush Brightening Gel Cream Moisturizer. I like to take a massive dollop of this and apply it all over, especially after a long night of partying, having a good time. Your skin tends to be drier, needs a little bit more hydration. Mine definitely does, especially right now because it is so dry out. My lips are chapped. Everything's chapped. A lot of times too, when I'm super tired, I just like upwards motions into the skin. Cause I'm trying to bring my face all the way back here, you know? Mm. Fight the gravity. All right, so that's that. Next, we are going to put a little eye cream on. Very important. This is the Ula Henriksen Banana Braid. Taking a little bit of that eye cream on my ring finger and dabbing it on the under eye. It just gives you a little bit of lift and more hydration, of course. I need it, especially on these outer corners of my eyes right here. They're always like super sad. I'm gonna put some on my eyelids too, because why not? Mm. Extra hydrated. If you thought I was done moisturizing, you are wrong. I'm now taking my MAC Strobe Creme, the illuminating in gold light. I love, 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 love this. Because it just gives your skin that extra pick-me-up, especially when you're not wearing foundation, which is what I love. So I just apply it to the high points. Boom, boom. And then the center of the nose, the chin the lip. It's just gonna give you that perfect glow from within. It doesn't look too overdone. This is just something I always have to wear, especially on my lazy girl, no foundation days, which is honestly every day now for me. It's just who I've become. Unless I'm doing like a full, full glam, I just love to be without foundation. Mm, mm. See that glow? Yes, perfection, love it. Love it. This is kind of the vibe today, you guys. Can you see this? This is the vibe. So now I'm fully moisturized and I'm ready for concealer. And that's the exciting part of this video because I have partnered with Fenty to introduce to you guys the brand new concealer. Boom. This is the new Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Concealer. Comes in 50 shades. Being Fenty, of course, they drop 50 shades of concealer. And depending on your foundation shade with them, they made it really easy to choose your matching concealer depending on whether you like to go brighter or lower. It's just easy peasy. Today, I'm gonna be using two of the concealer shades, one to cancel out any darkness. And when I say darkness, for me, it's not so much a lot of darkness right here. It's more of just like all of these uh, purpley tones that I tend to get, like especially right here and just right here. So I like to add something with a little bit more of a peach undertone. I'm gonna be using the shade 270. This one has a really nice peachy undertone. And so I'm just gonna apply it like a dot because this is really, Potent, right here, right there. Cause that's where I have problems, issues, situations. So I have all my brushes. I'm gonna be using the concealer brush. This is the 180. It has like perfect little shape to blend that out. I'm just gonna be tapping this into the under eye area. 
Sometimes I use the pigmentation on my lid as eyeshadow. I'll carve a straight line right here, make it look like I have almost like a winged out shadow, but it's just really my lid pigmentation. Then I'm gonna be going into, what shade is this? Yes, nope, that's the wrong one. I have a couple shades that I toggle between. I'm gonna be using this shade, which is 255. And just apply it like this. See how this like hollowy area? I think I try to lift that area a little bit more. And then I'm taking the brush. You could use um, a sponge as well. But when I wanna do these like quick makeup looks, I usually just use a brush. And a little goes a long way. I don't know if you guys could see this, but already my under eye looks nice and neutral. I'm not looking all busted and tired. Whatever's left over, I just kind of bring it into this inner corner. So that's like my first pass. And then, you know, if I'm feeling extra, I'll put like one more little dab of the 255. I always love to layer a little bit more concealer in that hollow area, but I don't take that all the way up. I just put it right there. Whatever's left over on my brush at this point, after the second pass, I take that on the sides of my nostrils because that is a spot where we all tend to get a little bit red. And now we can do our blemishes. I'm gonna stay using shade 255 because this is the real of what I do. So I just have some blemishes here and there. So I'm gonna spot it there. And then right here, right here. And then I do get a little congestion here. So I'm just gonna add a few dots. Boom. And then you just kind of see how I patted the concealer over the blemish. Then whatever's left over, I almost like blend it or diffuse it outwards. So I don't have like one blotch of concealer on my bare skin. I just like start to pat it everywhere. You can see I color corrected, I neutralized with the 255, brightened up just a little bit and covered some blemishes. You could even build up the coverage. I didn't today because I wanna go for that more like you just have amazing skin type of look versus like full makeup. But when I'm doing a full glam, I go hard with 255 because it's very brightening and it just makes my under eyes and my eyeshadow pop a lot. So I'll add and build it up to a more intense coverage, which I did on New Year's and I stay doing. So you could bake with this concealer. I usually do when I'm doing, like I said, a full glam, but when I'm lazy girl out the door, dun dun dun, the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Powder. You heard correctly, my friend. And this is the shade Banana. I'm gonna be taking a fluffy brush. I don't want a lot of powder, okay? I wanna look extra glowy and dewy, so I'm just lightly gonna set my under eyes with this. And I'm also gonna set my lids. I don't like them to look super like oily. And then of course, I like to put a little bit right here on the sides of the nose. Oh, it smells really good, by the way. This is where I get oily, just right here in the nostril area. All right, I'm feeling good about this. All right, some highlight, dose of colors, Fuego. I'm using the Fenty highlight brush. I'm just gonna add a little at the top of the cheekbones. Also like right here, right here down the nose. And then there, there. Oof. Oof, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Skin's looking good. Now it's time for some liquid blush. Love this. And I'm going to use it with this brush because I love this brush for liquid blush. And I have been loving liquid blush lately because I feel like it just makes everything look more youthful is the word I'm going for. Youthful, radiant, and blushing from within. This is the NARS and this is the Torrid. I just start patting it on to the cheeks. Depending on whether you're trying to cover a breakup on your cheek or not, don't rub, pat. But if you don't have something on your cheek that you're trying to cover, then you could do a little like rubbing motion. And then I also put it like around my nose. And sometimes I put it on the forehead because I feel like it. Boom, 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 boom. Now I'm taking a little bit of bronzer. And I don't really wear bronzer all the time. I know, crazy, crazy, I know. But usually I just use it to contour my nose. And I pull it up. And then I also will like put it in the Cupid's bow, boom. I know it's weird, I don't really use bronzer all the time, especially when I, when I don't wear foundation, I just don't really wear bronzer. I just go with blush and highlight and I feel like that looks really good and natural. If you wanna do bronzer, do you girl, okay? I'm not stopping you, I'm not stopping you. Next, some liner. This is my trick, this is literally what I do every single time. I wanna be ready quickly and I don't wanna do much. I just apply a little bit of Costa Riche. Mac. I just put this on the lash line. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're about to blend it out. 
And then I'll use my Dose of Colors pencil brush and I just graze over the top of that and smoke it out slightly just so it looks like a nice soft brown liner. Now this is just gonna give your eye like a little bit of definition but it's not too gricey, okay? Now the trick is lashes. I wanna look like I put a lot of effort in but I don't want to actually put effort in, okay? Much like my years in college. I apply a little bit of mascara. This is the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot Makeup Shayla Mascara. Let me grab my lashes, I left them on the counter over here. Hold please. I'm back. I'm gonna put on some strip lashes and it's gonna look like I tried so hard. These are the Batty B lashes in the style Batty. Boom. It's funny too, cause I've actually worn this a couple times. I mean, a lot of times on my IG stories and people wanna make a tutorial and I'm like, listen, there's not a lot going on here. <laughs> this is it. And then I pinch my natural lashes with my falsies and just give them a little bit of a perk. Oof, see that lift? Now the eye is going upwards, my friend. Mm. Did she try? Yes, she did. I'm gonna go back into my highlight and dip that into my inner corner because that also brightens and opens up the eyes. All right, we're gonna go ahead and grab some brow gel, clear, yes. This is Bomb Ass Brows Clear Brow Gel, rose gold edition from my Bomb Ass Brow Kit. Run that through my brows. Thank you, next. A little lower lash mascara. I decided I'm gonna put a little bit of liner in this outer lash line, because then it gives my eye even more of like a snatch. Now it's just time for the lips. This is KKW Classic Icon Liner. Just gonna line my lips. Okay. Dose of colors, my main. I usually just dab this. And that's it. This is what I do when I want a big impact, the least amount of effort. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Do not sleep on the Fenty Beauty concealers, okay? Pick them up January 11th in Sephora or Fenty's website. Make sure you guys pick it up. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this style video and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Gotta go. Do you think if I put my head out the window and told the construction people next door to stop reversing their vehicle and making that beep, beep, beep sound that they'll listen? <laughs> mm, usually I have some music going, so I do a little bopping. Excuse me, sir. I'm trying to film my get ready with me. This is the rhythm of the night. The night. Uh -huh. Pretty sure they just decided to start mining for gold next door, drilling for oil. I don't know. It's louder than I'm...